In this video, I'm going to show you how to check on your website's health in WordPress. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. Site Health was released with WordPress version 5.2. You can see a preview of it here on the dashboard where it says Site Health Status, and you can get to the full tool underneath the Tools menu by clicking on Site Health. WordPress is going to run 17 checks on your site and give you a status for your site's health. The two statuses are either good or should be improved. So this site here that we ran a check on has some areas that need to be improved. Now there's two main reasons you would be concerned about this. Number one is you want your visitors to have a good user experience when they come to your site. And number two, if everything on your site is running as it should, you have a much better chance of having your site rank higher in the search results. So a healthy site can be a better ranking site. It can also provide a better user experience for people who come to your site. There's two tabs up top, status and info. Status tells you what's going on after the site health check has been run. The second tab, info, gives you more technical information that you could pass off to a developer or someone in a support role in your organization. So we're gonna go back to the status tab here. And there are three main sections in the status tab. There are critical issues. We have one critical issue here. There are recommended improvements. We have five. Below that is past test, which has been collapsed. So there's 22 items that don't need to be looked at on this site. That's awesome. But let's go back to the one critical issue. So the critical issue in this case is that the AIO SEO plugin needs to be updated. If we click on the drop down arrow here, we get more information on how to fix this critical issue. So this one's pretty simple. We're going to go to plugins and update the plugin. If we scroll down past that, we get to the recommended improvements. And again, it's the same thing. You can click on these drop down arrows and get more information about each item. So the first one is saying we should remove inactive plugins. And if I click on the drop down arrow here, we get more information about that. This is basically WordPress telling you in as few words as possible how plugins can be valuable, but how they can also be targets for attackers. So if you're not using the plugins, you should remove them and not leave inactive plugins on your site. I'm going to go ahead and collapse that menu item. Look at the next one. It says you should remove inactive themes. So this is very similar to the thinking with plugins. If you have themes that you're not using that are inactive, they make tempting targets for attackers. So it's better to just remove those. Below that, we have a performance issue that says one or more recommended modules are missing. So this would be a good example of something that could be passed off to someone on the development or support team or whoever maintains the web server. Another one under performance says the post max size value is smaller than uploaded max file size. So with this site, this would really only be an issue if I'm uploading very large files, which I'm not going to be, so I'm not going to worry about that one. And then this last one here, we can see information being pulled in from our own plugin, All-in-One SEO. So All-in-One SEO integrates with this WordPress site health check and then present that information here when you run this check. So I'm going to click on the drop down here. And it's saying that our organization name and the logo for the site are blank. And again, we could go to the schema settings and fix that right here. Below that, we have the past test section. If I was doing an actual site audit, I probably wouldn't be too concerned with that. But for the purposes of this video, I'll dig into that so you can see some of the other tests that are run. So for the first one, we can see the test has determined that the version of WordPress that I'm using on this site is up to date. Uh, below that, it's telling me that the version of PHP is up to date. The PHP time zone is valid. There's no open PHP sessions detected. Uh, the SQL server is up to date. UTF-8 MB4 is supported. Our site can communicate securely with other services. Scheduled events are running. HTTP requests seem to be working as expected. REST API is available. It is set not to output debug information. Plugin and theme auto updates appear to be configured correctly. The site appears in search results. That's very important. This is another one coming in from our own plugin from AIO SEO. There's a handful of them here. So those are all coming in from our own plugin and working seamlessly with the WordPress site health tool. The site can communicate with WordPress.org. Background updates are working. The site can perform loopback requests. The site is using an HTTPS connection. Authorization header is working as expected and the site can connect to AIOSEO.com correctly. So again, if any of these were having problems and instead of showing up in the past test section, they'd be showing up in the recommended improvements section. Earlier, I mentioned that WordPress runs 17 tests when you do this site health check. 
you may say, wait a minute, I saw five recommended improvements, one critical issue, and 22 pass tests. That's a lot more than 17. That's because All-in-One SEO is contributing its own checks to this site health report. So really, when you have the All-in-One SEO plugin running on your site, you're getting an enhanced WordPress site health check. So if we scroll back up to the top of the site health page, I want to show you one other thing that we talked about briefly in the beginning is that info tab. So this is where you get more technical information, and this tells you all of the configurations and settings for your website. It tells you like what server you're running. All right, this site is on an Apache server, for example. It tells you technical information about the database. This may not mean a lot to you, but if there's some sort of issue with your site, it's slowing down or something, you could send this to a developer or whoever runs the web server for your site, and you can actually grab all of this information with this one button copy site info to clipboard, and then you could send that off to a developer or whoever's in charge of the web server that hosts your WordPress website. So that's how to check on your site's health in WordPress. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to optimize your pagination. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.